People keep asking for an update about the ducks. So, let's talk duck. This is where we've unceremoniously stacked the ducks for now. Um, every time I have had ducks out in pasture, like the goats back here, they just get out. They get to a point where they can fly and they'll hop over the fence or because of how thick their feathers are, they'll find one little crook, one little nook in the fence and just go under it. And so we've decided that, forget it, we're just gonna put them in a big cage and that's that. So we're actually downsizing our flock. We expect to have about two thirds of these gone within the next month. Uh, you can see, the net that goes over this enclosure uh, was actually donated to us by Leesville Aquaponics uh, in South Carolina. I went out there to visit them and he said he had this 30% shade cloth. If I could make some use of it, he'd be happy to give it to me. Uh, so we wrapped that up and carried it back home here to Mississippi. And while I'd rather be using this in a greenhouse, right now it's making a very fine uh, bird apiary, or not apiary, aviary uh, net. So that's what's working with that. As you can see, the fig tree has started to grow. Uh, it's actually even putting on figs. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. As far as the secret goes, we're trying to grow the figs right near water uh, rather than someplace high and dry like is usually mentioned on the label. The problem we had was just how close we put it next to the next to this little uh, pond of water. The ducks love to noodle their beak down there in the banks and because of that they work away some of the dirt and over time it has eroded uh, a part of the bank where the fig tree is. So the fig tree is still growing um, but I think if you're going to plant it near a body of water like this you probably want to give it a good five or six feet let the roots work their way toward the water and give yourself some time before the ducks work their way toward it so uh, let's go on in here and look at what's happening so by this time last year we already had ducklings uh, now we are just starting to have ducks go broody i set up three different nests here uh, you can see it doesn't take anything special for a duck uh, they just want some place dry and quiet. Uh, some of these are uh, just Tupperware, and some of these are old dog crates. So uh, it's just whatever you got available. Put a little bit of hay in there, and they'll start laying eggs. Now you can see some of these eggs aren't being laid where they belong. And the, the question that comes up is, is that because with all these ducks, did somebody not have a room available at the time and so they laid their egg outside or is it because these eggs are not good they're not fertile and the duck moved them out ducks really will do that if they sense that an egg is no good and is not worth sitting on they will move it out of the way so it falls on us to try to put them back in the nest and see whether or not they'll accept it or what so We'll fix that in a minute. Let's first look at this. This big nest here is specifically for the goose. And I was tickled because I saw her actually in here laying an egg yesterday. Now see, look. Now she spread them all out again. I don't know what's going on with this goose. I don't know what's going on with her. I don't know if most of these aren't fertilized or what her problem is. But that that is yesterday's there, right in the center of the screen. You can tell because it's the cleanest one, but I'll fix all that off camera. But anyway, that's the, the sad state of affairs with the ducks. Uh, this is where they are. They are quarantined and away from the garden. I do not want them mowing the garden down again this year, <laughs> and so we decided to lock them up. It's not the situation I want to have them in. Um, but until something better can be done, it's the situation we're stuck with. So, there they are. Muscovy ducks and two very loud African geese. As far as what we're feeding them, right now they're just getting a commercial ration. Just the laying pellets and corn from the store. 
Now, that's not what we want to give them, but that's the situation we're in right now. And every once in a while, I'll go around, take some clippings, and get them some fresh greens as well. Uh, the comfrey's starting to come in, and they love those kind of fresh greens. So they'll start to get that as part of the ration as well. Uh, but for now, they're just getting the feed from the store. Thank you all for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed seeing the update, though it wasn't anything particularly spectacular. But that's the answer to the question on what's going on with the ducks. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.